school football season is around the corner for St. Joseph and the surrounding areas. And a top priority for coaches is player safety, of course. Zachary Farwell got an up-close look at how those staffs prepare their teams for the season. Football season is a few weeks away. Practices are in full swing with coaches preparing their teams for a playoff run. But they're also making safety a priority, teaching the use of proper equipment and technique. At Benton High School, head coach Matt Tabor teaches his team this philosophy. The game has obviously evolved, um, not only from a schematic standpoint in the last few years, but also from a um, health standpoint. Um, you know, we've learned so much more in science about you know the dangers involved um, involved with football. To truly understand appropriate safety, I've joined the Benton Cardinals to understand form tackling today. So here goes. Ready? <laughs> and that, folks, is proper form tackling for you. Woo! When making a tackle, Keon, the Hawaiian Punch, Snap, and other athletes are trained to avoid hitting with the top of their helmets or turning their heads away from their target. The number one um, priority about tackling is always keeping your head up when you tackle. Um, and then we like to tell guys, I mean, you must play this game with reckless abandon. The faster you play and, and the harder you play, the less likely you are, believe it or not, to get hurt. It's the guy that's timid, who, who, who's, who's maybe not as physical as he needs to be. Those are the guys that are going to get hurt. So we, we teach our guys to run downhill and run through people and then always finish the play. According to the Centers for Disease Control, in the last decade, emergency rooms have seen a 60% increase in visits due to sports and recreation brain injuries. Head athletic athletic trainer at Missouri Western State University, Blaze Criley says health professionals are taking more steps to catch concussions. We're looking for symptoms such as dizziness, confusion. Uh, the major one we're always looking for is headache. Uh, we're looking for things like amnesia. And uh, we're also looking for changes in emotions. Uh, people don't realize that, but sometimes with concussions, there are some emotional changes that student athletes go through with that. One way to prevent brain injuries is through better equipment. This year, the St. Joseph School District required all schools to upgrade their helmets. The St. Joseph School District has taken a very, very proactive stance to help prevent concussions. Um, you cannot necessarily prevent a concussion, um, but we can take the necessary steps with the equipment. Uh, the number one priority put in, put in place by Doug Flowers, our head athletic director, was to purchase brand new Rydell Speed Revo helmets. And so um, those helmets have uh, paid dividends for us. The district has required every team to staff an athletic trainer. Those professionals are the only ones who are allowed to clear players back to the field after showing signs of a concussion or brain injury. Zachary Farwell, Fox 26, KNPN.